All right, we're on board with not the sharpest knife. Ah, I said it. I'm kidding. Sharp knife throws a nice fire strike here. Hopefully, hey, hey, shield bot, fire strike. What are you doing? Little concerning, bro. You. Hmm. Still, look at you. The Angry Llama is made for adults who enjoy honest crass cutting reviews when we're talking fucking llama. Sensitive bipeds need not apply. Hello everybody, it is Al, the Angry Llama, here to review some seriously trash can get right. Sometimes. But usually just to help out and to coach. But I like to be silly a little bit. Uh, do you know what I do for this voice? It's the only accent I know how to do and I want to be a funny cartoon character. So if you don't like it, um, how do I say? Uh, everyone uh, who's who's say under 12 or so put your ears uh, like your hands on your ears all right everybody else get fucked it's free advice go fuck yourself if you don't like it <laughs> Feels good. no seriously uh, today is gonna be fucking cool why because we have a sharp knife back that was the sub 500 Reinhardt who's now plus 700 Okay, all right, he's at 729. So he has climbed quite a bit. Now he's been on the farm, meaning our Discord, and he's been keeping us updated. Up to 600, oh, back down, oh, the 600s are weird, up to 700s now. Well, we're gonna take a look at his gameplay. This is still very low bronze, but guess what? According to A Sharp Knife, it's a different game between the two, at least in spirit. Apparently, those who are above minus 500 are a little more sweaty and pissy about not winning. So those below are kind of maybe accepting of their fate and just having fun. Uh, those above do not want to be there again, so they get salty quick. Very interesting. Okay, so yesterday was a patch day, which means all of the replays got wiped. And guess who's in first? A sharp knife. And that's what you get for being the uh, early bird with the worm, you know? So what's he say? I, say? I ask him, what do you think your biggest problem is? He says, positioning and choosing when to engage. Also those long charges. <laughs> that's every Reinhardt, dude every Reinhardt below like diamond like the charges are just so bad what level of roasting do you prefer this is what got me folks I gave the new options of G PG 13 or R he writes high end of PG 13 zero nudity but like maybe an innuendo probably a bit of gore <laughs> that's really funny I like that <laughs> seriously if if you make your submission funny, it's much more likely I'll do it. You know why? Because I am a normal llama, and I need entertainment and socialization in my life, too. So you make me giggle, you go to the top. Bribing also works. Okay, let's get right into it with a sharp knife. Low bronze, 729 Reinhardt. But let's, you know what? Let's take a quick look at the last time we saw him and what kind of crazy fuck-ups he was doing back then. It's been about a month since. Let's see a rewind. All right, but now it's time to get out, right? No, not. All right, dude, we're gonna do post-it notes with you. You know why? Because you're sub 500. You're, you're my first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, what you wanna do is charges from here to here. Boom. Charge from here to here. Boom. You want a place where you know what it's like. Oh my god, it's like cool. It's like billiards. Um, it's almost as important where the ball lands as if you got the shot. I so you I would love to see screenshots. Hey, sharp knife. But there's no way you know how to use a screenshot. <laughs> because you're, no, I'm kidding. It's really not that. Okay. So you're making a terrible show. You know what it is? I figured it out. I figured it out. Should I say something right now? Hmm. All right, let me do it. I don't think you've ever played World of Warcraft. I don't think you've played any dungeon crawler which has required you to tank. I think you're playing a fun shooter with the hammer guy as your DPS. Just back up. Mm, where you going? Oh, fat DPS, you're killing me, man. Um, okay, so, so let's talk about this now. Your job is to enable your team. What does that mean? Healers want to heal, so they like to live. Your job as a main tank is to hold the front line so your medics in the back, right, can do their job without getting um, assaulted. Now, if people come in and assault your medics, what do you do? You back that front line up and you help those medics secure their spot again, right? Very simple war type stuff. Um, you. Yes, you can do damage. Yes, you can kill things. But your ultimate job is to help the glass cannons behind you. DPS are specifically huge damage dealers while not being able to take a lot of damage. You, in fact, are a low damage dealer who can take a lot of damage. So to utilize your character in the proper way, you need to think of yourself as the babysitter of your team. You're the tank for the team. And if you're not in front of them or helping them, then you're doing something wrong. And this peeling seems to be okay. So, oh, you look back for your team? Good. Okay, we are with a sharp knife who has a sharp skin looking good in the outlaws. Feeling it? All right, so he's... Okay, okay. So in the low bronze, we're going to have to really play for ourselves here. Um, this is okay. I think we're kind of giving up that bridge area, though. Why don't, why don't you do that same thing? That's okay what you're doing. Um, and, and why don't we play it just a little bit forward? Ooh, I can't drive. Oh, this is why. Okay, there we go. 
Um, we could probably play that same thing here, or maybe here. Eh, God, I really don't like it because we're going to get choked too. You know what? You just do you. Let's, let's see how it goes. I'm just... You know what? It doesn't matter. You don't want to be that close to six people no matter what. Not with your team spread out. Just stay here. You're fine. Um, so, all right. You're shield botting a bit. That's okay. This is okay. You're really enabling this, this like... It, it's unfortunate that your DPS isn't utilizing what you're doing because you looked great. Yeah, you can hold main choke, though. You stay here. Oh, oh, but it's time to leave now, right? Like, um, like your whole team said, fuck you. No, 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 back up, back up, back up, back up, back up. No, 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 no. Okay, it's okay. Um, what happened there was, you were like, okay, my healers are with me. Um, let me go in. But let's just watch it in slow-mo. Maybe, maybe, first of all, it's very difficult to track everything that's happening on the screen. But if you look at your own health, let's see what happens here. So, we go up here for a cheeky fire strike. Our entire team, like a lot of times, guys, will peel if just one person steps on point that happens probably diamond and below i mean it's 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 crazy it's it fucking happens every level literally someone touches and the whole team just goes Gah! and spins around um this is going to happen but your job is to maintain hopefully the main choke but as your entire team decides that's not what's going to happen you need to stop because, all right, so they go for that, and you properly say, well, let me maintain this. Cool. But you have no one with you. So why would you... That was not a good walk-in, right? One, where were you going? And two, now, look at your health. It's so low. And you just run in. You run in. Now, you have that yellow, which means you get twice as much healing as you would otherwise from your healers. So you're going to get really good heals, but they're not in yet. Like, that health is still that low. Even with that whole bar looking like it's filled with pee. Yeah, so that wasn't a great move. Do you want to climb with the llama? Then you got to join the farm! Only 30% of the llama's viewers are subscribed. What horror! How can you expect to climb without the llama's daily father of views? Okay, hit your hooves on that sub button and we'll continue like none of this ever happened. Do you like daily VOD reviews? Do you want to see more? Do you want to see it in 4K? Do you want to see live scrims? Do you want them to do more of the Bronze Bandits? Well then support the channel. And this is one of the best ways. We've got hoodies, t-shirts, leggings, water bottles for you athletes. And look at this cute gear. Oh, it's all so good. That's right. You want an angry llama dress you damn straight? Look at these, they're so good. All right, what about t-shirts? Yeah, we got those too for everybody. Look at all these shirts fantastic support the channel and look pretty sweet all at the same time yeah and we have pink hoodies you damn straight we do what about this though all sorts of fun things socks cell phone cases for like every kind of cell phone oh man it goes on and on and even some stickers okay help the channel today you can all right so your team's kind of so we lost our... Oh, whoa. This is good. Keep swinging. Keep swinging. This is great. Fire strike, fire strike, fire strike. There you go. Oh, it missed. Oh, it got eaten. All right, now you're shield bought in a bit. That's fine. But oh, do, 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 do. The only reason you'll shield bought is if people are in front of you. I'm sorry. If people are behind your shield. But you back up so much that you're in the back line. Just remember where your team is so you can kind of stay in front of them while staying safe. Um, so, like... Okay, alright, alright, let's chill out. No, 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 no. You're backing up way too far. Um, don't... You don't... You need to be the person in the front. The moment other people are in front of you, they're either in the wrong spot or you are. And when there's more of them in front of you than you are them, then you're, then you're in the wrong spot, no matter how bad they're positioning. Do you understand what I mean? You You need to be in the front. Oh, bro. Shatter is not an ult you throw away. It's not a visor. Um, dragon, you can get so fucking fast. It's not a dragon. Uh, Shatter is a team fight winning ult. Every time you don't win a team fight from Shatter, you fucked up your Shatter. I mean, it's, it's that strong. 
It means you shattered people when no when none of your team was there to follow up. It means you missed your shatter. It means you uh, shattered then died. Um, but but it's a fucked up shatter. Ooh. Hmm. So far, I don't I I don't want to be a buzzkill here, but um, you're the one kind of throwing. Sorry. I don't mean to say it. You're so nice, and I like you, but fuck, you're kind of throwing, buddy. Don't go in there. Don't go in there. Don't go in there. Don't go in there. Don't go in. It does nothing. Remember, there's a thing called ultimate economy, and what that means is teams and how efficiently they get and use their ultimates. Cool. But it also means how much you're feeding the enemy ultimate charge. Now, if you did not go in there, it would have been better for your team. If you did not die, it'd be better for your team. If you walk in and die alone, that's the best thing that team can hope for. You literally gave all of them free ultimate charge, which might make the difference in the very next fight. So sometimes things we do in this game, we don't understand all of the variables and how all the math works out, so we're unsure why this is bad. And I'm trying to explain to you, this is why. You are feeding them ultimate charge, which sometimes the difference between one second, between your Zen getting his trance and their Zen getting her trance, is the difference. Like these are difference maker plays. This game is very much about small decisions. Your number one decision, Ryan, stay alive. Now, so far, you've been kind of cool about your healers with you. You've been cool about not flanking. Wait a second. How am I not more impressed right now? I didn't actually go and watch the replay fully before I did this one. I looked at the sticky notes. So, you know what? I'm not going to do that again. Because um, I am completely missing how much fucking better you are. Holy shit. Dude, do you guys remember this last time? <laughs> you would literally just go on these, like, huge tracer flanks, stand in the back and go, hey why am I shitting on you at all? Dude, this is not just a little bit better. This is twice as good Reinharding. Twice as good. I want anyone to fight me in the comments. Say it's not. This is twice as good as his last. Now, is it good enough to get out of 700 SR? I think so. This is at least 1,200 bronze Ryan play. Um, I think you'll climb. Just stay at it. And it's so much fucking better than the last time. Like, you were charging, like, a 1,000 meter charges into whole teams. You were literally taking slow walks to flank entire teams just to die. Now, you're, you're shield botting, which is so sick. You kind of went the other way. But it's pretty fucking cool. Wait, that's your team, right? What are you doing? Why are you attacking your team? <laughs> are you drinking heavily while you play Reinhardt, maybe? <laughs> hey, that charge I didn't hate. I hated that you wanted to go to Timbuk too. Listen, th there, there was there was an opportunity there, but you got a little weird. Hold on. Control play. So you charge in. You should have hit here. Here or here. Instead, you went even further away from your healers. Now, it worked out, but uh, not great. Do we have someone? We're fine. Okay, cool. So let's see. So, okay, okay, okay. Sharp knife. You know what you're doing? Which I fucking love? Is you are playing proper locations. You just are. Have you guys seen the corners that he's playing? They're a little passive, but if his team was with them, they'd be super strong. Now, here you're going to hate this. Ready? Sometimes you have to abandon a good position to help and enable your horrible team. This is called solo queue. Okay. If, say, 70% of your team, or let's say three-fifths of your team, is in front of you, now you're in the wrong spot. I mean, are you? Not really. Should they be with you? Yes. But if they're not listening to you, go with your Zarya, bare minimum. Go with your Zarya, stay with her. I love that the healers get it, but like, look at your DPS. Like, they're just horribly overextended. So I feel like you should be up there with them and pushing. Or, um, no, you just need to do it because you're the main tank. Basically, more of the team is in front of you than behind you, which essentially takes your great position and makes it bad. And now you have to get in front of these idiots. 
Does that make sense though? Like, do you get that? There's a good, there's, there's the right spot and then there's the right spot for your team. And currently they're not the same, which sucks. If you can convince your team to play better, this is the right spot. Maybe, maybe here. Um, but definitely this corner is so strong. With the payload here, oh, so strong. You get um, May to come up here with her wall. You can get McCree and May to both go up here by a wall jump, right? Like the wall, like you just ride the wall up. And then you let the team come in. You bait them in with that shield. And it's a one fight no matter what they do. But that's not what's going to happen. So um, let's play it out. Let's just play it out. So they're pushing pretty hard. Uh, does he have Shatter? No. Wall them off. Very nice, May. But no follow-up. Here comes a tire. Where's it going, though? Why did the Mercy run after the tire? That was fascinating. So now your team is dead, though. So it's time to either die on point or get out. I personally could have turned around and charged away up that road and you would have lived. No, 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 no. Okay. So one of the things we said was the positioning. So we need to be next level on our positioning. It's not as simple as we thought before. Um, so we have to kind of think about our team and what's the best position for our team at the time. Now, what you're not allowed to do is you're not allowed to shatter if two or more people are dead on your team. Now, in the comments, people are going to say there are variables, blah, blah. That's great for them. But when you're this low, you need hard and fast truths that may change later in the game. But right now, that make it a little easier for you to make decisions. That's why I do this kind of stuff. So I would say if two members of your team are dead, and there's three that are dead, um, you can't shatter. It's just not going to be worth it. There won't be enough follow-up. You'll probably end up dying. Um, it's a general rule of thumb. Let's shatter when the whole team's there. One dead, maybe. Um, but you shattered into a Rhine shield. Not great. So you didn't even think to yourself, shit, is his shield down? Um, that's kind of what you want to think. But again, this is low-level bronze. What you're doing is gorgeous. It's gorgeous. So she ended up grabbing, and you guys still will lose this. So you invested two huge ults because your team was dead. That's not that uncommon, though. This happens a lot um, in all sorts of ranks. People have a hard time watching that, um, watching that kill feed. Now, if this is World of Warcraft, I would install a mod that made the kill feed really big and right in front of my screen. But because it's not, I had to get used to looking to that upper right. Um, and it's not as easy as you think. Um, yeah, okay. So, oh, cool. That was a cool short charge, Sharp. That's exactly what we were talking about before, right? Short, effective charges. Great. Now you're blocking for your... Guys, this isn't 700 bronze. He's playing much better. His team simply is not. Look at how deep they are. Like, that Zarya does not understand positioning. A sharp knife does. But move up in front of them, right? At least... Right, listen. Listen, when there are people five feet in front of you taking hit scan damage, get in front of them. Don't walk slowly in front of a shield. Even if it's your face, use that to get in front of them because wait for it. That's your job, meat stick. You are a meat shield. You're supposed to take damage, not them. So if people are three to five meters in front of you, they're still your priority to block. If they're retreating, absolutely. Don't back up with them. Move forward. I know it seems counterintuitive. Move forward, take some damage, put your shield up, then walk slowly back with them. If they're within your sphere of influence, they're under your protection, Daddy Ryan. Take care of your people. You're the dad. Be a good dad. And tell mom to get back, Zarya. So, Ryan, you're still, do you see how you're not um, in front of, I mean, this is a thousand times better of where you were last time, but you're still not in front of your team. You're, you're playing midline and protecting yourself more than your team. Every hit point taken by your healers is your fault. Oh, I said it. It's really not true. But it's a little bit of your fault, especially if they're right next to you. Put your shield up, motherfucker. Ryan, you, you took a crazy off angle, but you're coming back. You did not go on a crazy flank, you dickhead. I love you. Good job, knife! Dude, you made the... This dude listens to the llama. He made the changes I told him to. Not only made them, he made all three of them before coming back. I don't think anyone's done that. Good fucking learning, bro. Counter charges. You're gonna learn them. It's fine. That's not a sub-bronze move. 
But when anybody charges, you counter charge. I'll send you, will I? There is a cool workshop code that I will link below for everybody that helps you learn this counter charge thing. Uh, it's easier on PC, very hard on console, F, Y, I. Because of timing or loading or something, but it's fucking nearly impossible. By the by, the time the hero loads, you're already shattered. It's, it's real hard. Uh, but on PC, it's reasonable. You could have counter charged that. It probably would have killed your May. But I like this. I want to see a little bit of attack. Because your defense looked 1,000 times better than last time. Do you guys remember on Nubani, him like pulling those linebacker routes? Like he was, he was absolutely insane. It was like, why am I in bottom 500? Because you don't know what game you're playing. <laughs> but now he does and holy crap, people can learn. Even bipeds, I thought you needed four hooves and a four chambered stomach, but apparently that is not true. I love this aggression. You know it's cleanup time. Oh, and you get low and back up. Dude, who are you? You're not even the same per- You know what? I wish this was a thousand SR. Because people aren't gonna see. They're not gonna understand how much better you've gotten by your SR. Because it's only like 200 higher. You're still in like the toilet. But you're not playing that way. You're at least 1200. God, he could be silver with this ride. What the fuck? This is great. All right, we're on board with not the sharpest knife. Ah, I said it. I'm kidding. Sharp knife throws a nice fire strike here. Hopefully, hey, hey, shield bot, fire strike. What are you doing? Little concerning, bro. You. Hmm. Still, look at you. He is now going from cover to cover. People don't even do that in gold and plat. They just walk forward like fucking bots. Now, standing there and typing whatever you typed was insane. Your team goes off your cadence, your pace. If you stop at that corner, you have fucked up and thrown the bridge problem. The only move there is to move forward and go left or right as fast as humanly possible. It is to never stand there, and it certainly isn't to type and debate your team. But... I love that you found natural cover to build your shield back up. Let's see if your team can do the same without dying. Unlikely, but you put your shield back up. Time to move. Oh, you're teleporting. <laughs> Look at you guys, you clever pricks. Fire strike. Fuck them up, bro. Fuck them up. Um, so when a junk rat's in your face, you just put your shield up. You can't do anything. And then other people will kill him. No, 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 no. Shield that. No, shield that sim. This is the exact mid-fight problem again. I want to show you this. You keep forgetting that you are a papa bear and you need to take care right now your job with a junker i know guys it's hard to know what your job is in every fucking situation i get it i don't know why i intuit okay maybe it's because i've played entirely too many hours of this that's probably it and anyone can do this i just feel i guess i have too much fucking time on my hands why do i do I like teaching, I think, and I got out of teaching high school, and I want to teach again, and this is much more fun because I can swear at the kids. <laughs> it's fantastic! Okay, but seriously, a junk rat's in front of you. It goes boom, boom, bam, bam, lots of grenades. Okay, and there's a sim behind you going, wah, with a laser. We just put a shield between the sim and the junk, and we let nature take its course. You don't even have to partake. You are literally just put a wall between those two and let them go at it. Like, like you don't need to get in the middle, third wheel. Watch. You just had to put a shield between these two and watch her sim fuck everything. She's even fat beaming! Oh, boo in front of her! She's medium fat beaming, but at least go in front of her! I think it's hard to know at this level, too, like, what what heroes are powerful, etc., etc. But a sim beaming behind a Reinhardt shield is gross. Like, just gross. And she looked like she wanted to do it. And you ran from her. Gosh darn it, sharp knife. Still so much more to learn. Let's see what we do here. Let's see if we wait for our team. Um, and Or if we just hold the shield and let him break it. We don't. We stay behind natural cover. Oh my god, I fucking love this guy. How is this guy bottom 500 ever? How, 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 how? Yes, go. Go, 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 go. Go, go. Look at that. Fuck. 
Move forward, forward, forward. Now go left. Now go left. Don't sit in the middle. Now go left. Find more natural cover. Get the fuck out of there. Good job. Oh, you had the right idea, but you fucked it up. Dude, little little more practice and um the fuck? Little more practice and you're gonna be fine. Okay. So the three things, I don't want to do post-it notes because I have to do bandits today and that's a lot of editing. And if I do post-it notes, it adds like a fucking hour. I swear to God, it shouldn't, but it does. So hear me out. Here are your three things. Bruh. One, you're playing mid-fight. You're doing that because you're trying to protect you. I want you to realize everyone near you is also your health points. That's also your job. So when they take damage, I want you, every time a point of damage goes into someone in front of your shield that you could have walked forward and helped, I need you to punch your testicles. I know, just send me the insurance bill. I'm joking, don't sue me, I have no money. Thank you, that's just a, thank you very much. Okay, second, you need to be with you, no, you are with your healers. What's the second thing I thought of? It was, hold on, I can think of this. The second thing is, you gotta start counter charging you add that in your repertoire i don't think you need to add shit to your repertoire to climb by the way just play more games uh, you're playing great um all right okay so i want your fire strikes to be a little more accurate i don't know if that means changing your sensitivity but what i'd like to see you do is go in the training range like i tell all my hit scans for 10 minutes a day you just put on music or you talk to your friends for 10 minutes a day fire strike bots jump spitting fire strikes charging bots moving just Keep your aimer on the bots and don't miss fire strikes. Seriously, don't miss one. When you get in a game, it will translate. So that will help you there. Second, there's a code or third or fourth or B or C, whatever. There's a code underneath for um, learning how to counter charge. That's really going to help you in the silver gold plat region. You're going to need that by plat. Um, maybe even gold these days, um, Ryan's counter charge well. Um, and then third is sometimes your position is correct. If you can't convince your team to come back, um, just simply go with your team. So if more than three player, if three or more players are in front of your shield, then you're probably in the wrong spot. Um, you just need to get in front of them. Even when they move too far forward, if you can't convince them to go back, if they're not a lost cause yet, you go help them, enable them. It's really helped me climb is, really, is realizing that being right isn't going to win. It's being a team. So sometimes your teammates collectively have the brain cell of a wet fart. But if you go enable that wet fart, it can make everyone throw up. It's wisdom. It's what I do, kids. Just uh, write it down, put it in a book next to fucking Socrates and Plato. Yeah, bitches. Wet fart. Ugh. Llama out. Overwatch chews up and spits out the new. Can six hard stuck bronze defy the odds and dominate Elo Hell? Will the bandits be dedicated enough to master their heroes? Will infighting keep them from achieving plat greatness? Catch up on all episodes now. The 12 week experiment and learning experience has begun.
YouTube has the same features as our Patreon. You can join right through YouTube, get your Discord benefits, get special emojis for the live premieres. Check it out right under the video where it says join. Support the Lama and his quest to bring knowledge to the low rank medals. Do you like daily VOD reviews? Do you want to see more? Do you want to see it in 4K? Do you want to see live scrims? Do you want them to do more of the Bronze Bandits? Well then support the channel. And this is one of the best ways. We've got hoodies, t-shirts, leggings, water bottles for you athletes. And look at this cute gear. Oh, it's all so good. That's right. You want an angry llama dress you damn straight? Look at these. They're so good. All right. What about t-shirts? Yeah, we got those too for everybody. Look at all these shirts. Fantastic. Support the channel and look pretty sweet all at the same time. Yeah, and we have pink hoodies. You damn straight we do. What about this though? All sorts of fun things. Socks, cell phone cases for like every kind of cell phone. Oh man, it goes on and on. And even some stickers. Okay, help the channel today. You can end. Do you want to climb with the llama? Then you got to join the farm. Only 30% of the llama's viewers are subscribed. What horror. How can you expect to climb without the llama's daily father of you? Okay, hit your hooves on that sub button, we'll continue like none of this ever happened. Well, hello, now we have a place to call the farm. You can't stop by and eat the hay bales. But now we've got the Discord, where the llama is there, the farmer is there, there are foremen and farmhands, and even a few alpacas. Why don't you join us on the Discord, have some fun with the llama, and see what the farm is all about.